What's up? It's your boy, John Ashree of IFBB Pro, Mr. Tell Like It Is. Welcome back to another episode of Super Subs Explained Easy, where I give you guys a detailed profile of supplements that I've taken in the past. I'm currently taking right now, and we'll probably take in the future. And before we get started, guys, make sure you know this is just purely entertainment, guys. Whatever happens after this video is purely on you guys, and that is it, guys. It's just pure entertainment, guys. Sit back, relax, take some notes, and enjoy the video, guys. Today, we're going to touch on our first actual SARMs, Austrian. MK2866, Anobis Arms, S22, it's got a ton of names. What is a SARMS? I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a review. SARMS is Selective Energetic Receptor Modulator. These are, these are chemicals that bond to receptors, your angiogen receptors. What's your angiogen receptor? Your angiogen receptor is basically the, angiogen is basically your, your male traits of your body, you know, of your makeup, um, you know, facial hair, um, muscle, all those good things. Women have those as well too, but not as much, right? So when it comes to like side effects, we're talking about like a steroid or something that has an anabolic profile or a ratio of, you know, an anabolic angiogenic ratio of say like, you know, seven to five or something like that. That means that the anabolic, the anabolic ratio of it is, there's, it's high anabolic and still pretty high angiogenic, meaning that you'll have side effects or it has the ability to have a lot of side effects. So SARMs are basically made to do what steroids do without the side effects. Only most of the time they went through the clinical trials, it didn't pass, and you basically have these SARMs laying up on the shelves as only for you know clinical use only or experimental use. So that's your basically your loophole of why you can use or buy SARMs. And here in Canada, it's legal to use only for experimental use, right? In the States, I'm pretty sure the FDA has not approved it to be um, for you know use, so it is basically legal. Now, when it comes to it being prohibited in sports, in absolutely every single organization that is any kind of sports organization, it is banned unless you are in a non-tested organization, federation, sports league, whatever it is, these are performance enhancements and they are banned. So you cannot do these at all. Austrian, we're gonna get into guys. Right? So why was Austrian created in the first place? Austrian was created to basically combat osteoporosis. Most, if not a, um, all of the steroids or SARMs that were created were to combat muscle wasting diseases or muscle wasting ailments. You know, some that's seen you know, as cancer, lost a lot of muscle, you know, osteoporosis, those kind of things, you know, burn victims, whatever. Um, a lot of these drugs are made to help build up muscle back up. Now, Austrian itself has some very high benefits from it, not just from building muscle. Now, apart from its ability to build lean muscle tissue, it does actually help with your heart. So it does help lower your bad cholesterol or your HDL. It actually does help with your insulin resistance as well too. It keeps your blood sugar glucose basically at bay. And again, it's gonna help with your, you know, with bone density, you know, being uh, a drug that was made to combat osteoporosis in the elderly, age, you know, age bracket, when you get older, you know, muscle density, skeletal muscle mass starts to diminish or whatnot, you know, and preventing something like osteoporosis or combating it, Austrian was created. So Austrian has very, very great benefits to using it, you know, just for your overall health. Now, when it comes to side effects, yes, there are side effects. Those side effects were shown as like a little bit of headache. Now, I'm actually talking like just a little headache. I'm not talking like a migraine. So your, your side effect isn't like, Oh, you got all these really good things, and all of a sudden you have this like raging headache in the corner. Like, you know, I know people who have actual migraines and they have to turn the lights off and go in and quiet and sit. We're not talking that kind of a headache. We're talking like a minor headache when that can probably be mostly avoided by making sure that when you're doing something like this, Austrian, um, a rat, any SARMs, that you make sure that you are getting your proper hydration in and make sure you're not like, you know, drinking too. So, if you're going to use SARMs or you are using SARMs, I recommend that you increase your water if you're not already drinking enough water and to not party as much. You wanna give your body a little advantage when it comes to you know, helping your liver out a little bit. So you know, try not to put more damage into it by not drinking enough water, you know, filtering it out and drinking alcohol. Anyway, so when it comes to actually building muscle, now it does help build muscle, I would say it would be comparable to like Anovar. That's my opinion. I'm not saying it's compared to in molecular structure or chemical structure, whatever. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that um, when it comes to building muscle, 
and the, you know, the amount that it can, I would say it would be similar to Anavar if we're comparing, you know, the ability to build muscle with other SARMs like RAD, LGD and whatnot. So it does help build muscle. Can you do this by itself? Yes, you can definitely run Austrian by itself. My opinion and my, you know, in, in my experience, I've ran Austrian as almost like a, you know, bridge, so to speak. So when I, um, in the middle of my amateur career, when I would come off, use, I used to be able to come off and go, you know, completely off and not go on anything. And then the only time I went back on was when I went, went back to competition. And that's basically only because I couldn't afford it. Now, when I could afford, um, when I had a little more change in my pocket, Austrian was the best next choice that was affordable for me in between shows, right? You're looking at anything between, you know, 75 to 100, you know, 120 bucks for a month. And you're looking at like something like, you know, when you're on cycle, a lot more than that. So it did help me bridge the gap between shows and continue to still keep the muscle that I built, if not build more muscle. Now, if it's your first time using Austrian, you can look at something like 10 pounds of muscle, literally. If it's not your first time taking Austrian or if it's not your first time taking anything, you're not gonna get a crazy amount of muscle by taking Austrian. It's very mild. So you are you are going to build muscle. Again, Austrian is one of those really good drugs to take when you're talking like, you know, a TRT doses and whatnot. So if you're on TRT and you come off TRT, you know, you can use Austrian and that'll help continue to keep the muscle that you've built and you've sustained. Now, when it comes to Austrian, do I have to take an anti-estrogen when I take Austrian? No, it's not strong enough of a drug to you know, justify taking something like Arimidex. You don't wanna lower your estrogen so it's at a non-optimal level, right? Estrogen's still good to have in your body. It's just like, you know, when it comes to women, women have testosterone in their body, they just don't have as much as men do, and men have estrogen in the body, just not as enough as women do. So there, those were, that's where you get your different traits and whatnot. So you don't want to totally diminish the estrogen in your body by trying to lower it because you're using something Austrian. Austrian, again, doesn't have a high antigenic um, ratio, so you're not gonna get side effects that require you to have something like Rumidex. Now, when it comes to coming off of Austrian, if you're doing Austrian by itself, and we'll get into those things later too, like Austrian, sack with, with, with something else, or um, in my next video when we talk about RAD, I find that you know a simple PCT of Novadex for like four weeks, 20 milligrams of Novadex will be completely fine. Again, when I look at your PCT, I look at the cycle. Does the cycle justify Clomid, Novadex, ACG? You know, I look at that, you know, this person say is doing DECA and TEST, and you know, trend and whatever for X amount of weeks, yeah, probably do a you know a really good PCT and have you know some kind of anti-estrogen running throughout the cycle. When it comes to just running Austrian, no, not required, not necessary at all. Now, when it comes to like dosages and you know dose duration, again, we're talking about side effects most of the time, if not all the time, when it comes to your side effects is dose duration, and again, obviously with an about an angenic profile or ratio, so to speak, sorry, that obviously if the drug has a higher anabolic antigenic ratio, then it's gonna have a lot more chance of side effects that would be accelerated by the dosages and by the duration. That makes any sense. So to make it easier for you guys, Austrian is one of those things that you would run eight to 12 weeks and be just fine. I don't think you need to run it anything more than 12 weeks. I don't think that you need to run any anabolic or any SARM or anything longer than 12 weeks. I find that that's when a lot of diminishing returns starts to really play an effect. Is that dose duration? Do you need to do it that long and that much? No. When it comes to dosages, we're looking at for men and women, men between 10 to 20 milligrams, women between five to 10 milligrams. Now, if you're getting good results from you know, the lower end dose. Again, I'm gonna say this in every damn video we do. If you're getting good results, not even just if, when you get results from the lower end dose, stay there. Start small and then gradually go up if it's necessary. And I mean, if it's necessary, like, you know, you've been on 10 milligrams as a male for 
a month and you haven't really seen much of a difference, right? Then maybe go up. And if that's not doing it, then you're going to have to find out if the stuff you're taking is actually real. That's going to segue into that. And again, the availability of SARMs. What you're taking, is it real? Do you know? You don't know. How am I going to tell you if it's real or not? I can't tell you. You have to be, you have to have some kind of relationship with whoever you get it from and just trust that what you're getting is real. You just got to trust that they're honest. Now, how are some ways that you can find out if your, if your SARM or your Austrian actually works? Well, to put it this way, Austrian has a 24 hour half-life. That means you can take it. It should start working within days or within the week, right? It shouldn't take you months to see results. So if you're doing Austrian, if you're taking Austrian and say you're taking 10 milligrams and within the first month, you don't see anything like now again, you want to take the controllable variables and keep those consistent. So if you say like your nutrition and your nutrition, your caloric intake is at, you know, X and your training is at X and your cardio is whatever it is. And that doesn't, st that doesn't change at all. And then you add Austrian and within that month, you didn't get stronger, like your bench, your squat, whatever didn't increase and you didn't gain any kind of muscle mass or weight or you can't see your, you know, um, your body composition hasn't changed at all. Th there's your answer. And that's all I can really say is, you know, that's the only way you can really find out if it's real or not. So it's just tricky out there. It's, it's just a sad thing that, you know, these things are not as legal as they should be. Meaning if they were, then you wouldn't have to worry about whether or not it's real or not because you'd be able to just go to a GNC or, and go grab yourself some Austrian or whatever. But you can't. So, you know, those loopholes in getting it from certain websites or your buddy who knows a buddy who knows a buddy, you just kind of really got to go. You just got to kind of take their word for it. Again, do what I said. Look at, you know, make sure you're keeping an eye on certain things that are going on, you know, your own biofeed, your own research, your own findings. You know, are you getting stronger? Um, are the arms in your shirts getting tighter? Is this part of your shirt getting tighter and this part, you know, getting smaller? Is, are your legs, your thighs getting bigger, but your waist is getting smaller? You know, little things like that you can use to kind of see what your body composition is actually doing when it comes to, you know, taking anything. But anyway, guys, I hope that kind of gives you a clear understanding of what Austrian actually is. Next video, we're going to get on Rad 140, guys. And that's going to be... Next video, we're going to do Rad 140. And again, we're going to go Rad 140, LGD. We're going to get into the cycles. We're going to talk about anabolics as well too, guys. So be patient. It's going to come out. And I'll give you guys the most easily explained understanding of SARMs, anabolics, peptides, the works. Anyway, hope you liked the video, guys. If you did, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel like the video and share it guys i'm giving you some very quality information that's complete transparent honest and no bullshit guys so share the video with your friends make sure you guys add me on instagram at underscore johnny Shreve underscore and for coaching guys hit me up at johnny shreve.com get in the best shape of your life for the rest of your life i mean that guys i am 100 percent on what i do if you're 100 percent at what you do anyway if you want 20 percent off guys check out imu.com for 20% off, I am you.com. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. Remember, guys, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.